Hey, well, this is Sunday, and I guess this is the week before Christmas, and working on the wagon. So today, I'm putting on new subframe bushings. Common modification is to use the subframe bushings from the rear portion of the Taurus, made from 96 to 2007, in all four corners, because it's a heck of a lot more substantial looking than what they put the factory stuff here. I'll show you in a minute here. But i got to use an 8 millimeter open-ended wrench to attack the bolts that are in all four corners. I guess if you want to watch, watch me take these off. They're not on it. Tighten it all. This well, has no room. You get the idea. All right. Well, I got one left. It's the back corner. I already got all the other three. Got them removed. So let's go ahead and get this done. Last bolt. Done. I just need to clean all the dirt and crap off. We can put in the new bushing. that that is one disintegrated subframe bush. And now I just need to lower the jack. Push that one out. Alright, well here are the old bushings. And I don't think having power steering fluid leak on them for ages and ages made this any better. I really had to hammer away the crap out of this thing. Probably because this metal ring had bonded with the metal of the subframe for some reason. Plus this lip here, which is almost like a press fit. Um, but I just hammered the snot out of it and uh the lower subframe on this side. As you can see there. Dirt came out and power steering fluid leaking all over it and dirt attracting to it. Here's how the cup looks. Here's how it looks on the body side. So now I just need to clean that up, put in a new bushing side up and get to the other side. What a fun job. Alright, well I have the new side firm bushings in. There are my new struts. Springs are original, upper strut bearings and stuff. So now I can install the end link at some point. And then put the brake caliper back on and be done. Alright, well there's the old bushing. It's wedged in there, but I'm going to pry it out now. These are great tools. You can get an angle on it. Alright, well here's where I'm at. Progress has not been very fast, but at least I have bushings in. Everything's mounted. I have the new brake lines at least up front. Fortunately, the rotor that was on this side has a huge groove in it, so it looks like I get to go shopping. I have new sway bar bushings. Those are all tightened down tie rod end in. I have the end link on. These are metal ones from
from Diza or something rather over there in the light. done as much as I can up front right now because I do need to go buy new dr uh, rotors unfortunately so now I need to just back up the rear end of the vehicle and we can do the the rear brake lines and that should be enough for one. Here are my old subframe bushings. This is driver side front one here. few brakes in the rubber. Here's the plate, no rust. The back driver side one. This one was probably saturated in uh, power steering fluid. And this one, I had the hammer side because this had some kind of metal reinforcement on it and it was welded to the, the bushing. It was not a fun job. Passenger side, rear subframe bushing. Here's the other, this is the bottom of it. And this would be the top of it for the body. And here is the passenger side front one. This one actually has some rust on it. These nuts come off very easily. They, they're not, they're just sort of stabilizing the bushing, I guess. Um, this one did have some corrosion on the body and it made its way onto this disc. This is, there are the screws. Remember these are, geez, 23, 24 years old. So they're not, certainly not new or anything. And these are the sway bar bushings. Definitely factory. So that's all that. And uh, I just finished connecting everything up front. So I just need to do brakes. Obviously tighten up that nut there. <laughs> Back up the rear and get the brake hose going and get a master cylinder. This is a fact the master cylinder is cracking pretty badly right now. Uh, I gotta break these lines loose and get that out. I forgot to show, this is the passenger side lower control arm. Now the ball joint is actually okay. Still requires quite a bit of effort to move it, so it was doing fine. Of course Ford made it ungreasable. The bushing here in the middle was fine. It was just this bushing back here that was completely done. So at least so anyways, I'm cleaning up, and then I'm going to head home.